This is verse 2, the second chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew is giving, the, uh, giving us the account of the arrival of the uh, Magi from the east. Uh, he indicates that they've shown up in Jerusalem, a rather dramatic description of it, that they've appeared is the idea. And of course they appear, then Legontes, this is the uh, present active participle, masculine plural nominative, referring to the Magi from Lego, I say. Uh, participles, best way to handle them is simply to add an ing to the verb and then uh, go from there. So saying, these uh, Magi show up saying, and then pu, indeclinable adverb, means where. Uh, interesting, they don't ask whither, that is to say, was a king born, as if it was somehow uh, not certain, but uh, they simply ask the question matter-of-factly, where is this character, uh, thus indicating their complete confidence that such a king was born. So, pu, uh, esten, from ami I am, third person singular, present active indicative, where is, and then ho, the uh, article, masculine, singular, nominative, the uh, and then another participle, the having been born one, ticto, means to uh, bear or to bring forth, usually used in connection with childbearing. Uh, this is the aorist passive participle, so he was born, masculine singular uh, nominative, so where is the having been born? Uh, and then the uh, principal noun here, Basilus, king, so the king, the having been born king. Tone, genitive plural masculine of the article, of the Udion, of the Jews. Uh, king of the Jews, of course, that was the claim that Herod himself made. It must have been a bit of an affront to have people showing up saying, where is this one who is king of the Jews to Herod? who believes he uh, exclusively possesses that title. Uh, the term is not used again in Matthew until uh, toward the end, uh, and when again it's uh, uh, used in connection with the uh, events of the Passion and the Crucifixion. Uh, but otherwise, this is the only time we find this phrase in Matthew. And then Edomen, we saw, this is simply the third person, uh, uh, or first person plural, uh, aorist active indicative, we saw, <clears throat> uh, not we have seen, but actually we saw it, a little bit more matter of fact, we saw, uh, this is from blepo or edo, either one, to see, gar, post positive, for, we saw, how to, up front, to give it additional emphasis, the of him, tone, the accusative, uh, masculine singular article, austera, this is from austere, uh, masculine noun, it means a star. This is the accusative, is the direct object of having been seen back here. We saw the star of him. N, preposition, takes the dative. Here's the dative, uh, feminine, singular, in the. And then Anatole, uh, this is uh, the east, the word Anatolia. Uh, modern day Turkey is derived from this, but we saw in the east, Anatole. Uh, the star. There's been, of course, a fair amount of speculation as to just exactly what did they see. Uh, there's been all kinds of astronomical attempts to reconstruct what may have been an unusual um, uh, scene in the heavens, the conjunction of certain planets, that kind of thing. Nothing has been very satisfactory uh, in terms of trying to figure that out exactly. There have been some interesting hypotheses. I think uh, it remains probably the most probable uh, theory that this was simply a, a miraculous display in the heavens. Uh, how it was that these magi were able to triangulate that this would wind up being the birth of the uh, king of the Jews, or again, remains a bit of a mystery. The most likely candidate goes back to Balaam's prophecy in the book of Numbers, where the star is uh, mentioned, but again, that still leaves a fair number of unanswered questions. The Sibylline oracles, uh, Jewish writings uh, of that time, have uh, some suggestion that uh, there may be some hypothesis derived from that, but again, you have to say it's uh, a mystery at best. But in any event, they say we saw the star in the east, Kai, and then Aelthomen, this is from Erkamai, I come, it's a first person plural, aorist active indicative, and we came, so we saw and we came. Uh, for the purpose of, here's the, uh, in, uh, the um, aorist infinitive, 
proskunesai, from proskuneo, <clears throat> means literally to bow down. Uh, and it can mean to worship. It can also simply mean to bow down in reverence. Uh, but uh, either way, we have come to uh, worship this one, is the way it's typically rendered. Takes the dative, so here's the dative singular masculine uh, pronoun. We have come to worship him. So they come with this rather uh, uh, striking question uh, being put to the leadership there. They've appeared in Jerusalem. They're asking these questions. Uh, one can imagine that it probably uh, created quite a stir, and we see the evidence of that in the uh, next few verses.